Hi, Smart Home Sunday. My name's Paul, and today I said to you I was going to play around more with Nord Pool, and I am. But sometimes the best thing I can do in one of these videos is put a link in the description and send you off to someone who is much smarter than me and has figured it out already, and that's what I'm going to do today. So, Nord Pool electricity prices. I have them in Home Assistant. You've seen them before in the dashboard. They look very pretty. There they are. And in this part of the world, well, in Finland, but also other Nordic countries, you can pay for your electricity by the hour just in case you're not living in this part of the world and didn't know about that. So of course, when you start to see the price fluctuating every hour during the day, you start to wonder, hmm, if only Home Assistant could figure out the cheapest hour, then I could just turn things on during that time to do something like, for example, charge an electric car or warm up the hot water. Well, luckily there is a smart person in Finland, it's not me, uh, a guy by the name of Tony, Dolly. Gidos, thank you. I'm going to put a link below and go off and check out his website. Here it is here. Look, let me show you. CreatingSmartHome.com. Home Assistant, Nordpool, Spot Prices and How to Automate Devices for the Cheapest Hours. Look, check this out. Uh, the Playground, look, Cheapest Hour. It's in three hours. Let's check. I go and have a look tomorrow. Uh, where I'll be now? Where just after? So one, two, three. Uh, yes, two o'clock is the cheapest hour. Now there's something. Yeah, look at that. Five point one, four point eight, four point seven. Let's just go back and have a look here. Cheapest hour. Yep, at two o'clock. Two in the morning. There it is. It's done. So if you want to see the details, um, I really suggest you go and check out the blog post. So he's created a sensor and some fantastic smart little logic there. I put it in place, voila, it's working. Now what I do want to do with mine is, well, there's a couple of things. For one, uh, he's written it as a sensor platform. Now there is actually a new way to create uh, templates for sensors. So I'm going to rewrite things a bit. So you could write it, you know, sensor platform template, then specify your sensors. But the new way, as it says, the new advice method is create a template entry in your configuration YAML and then specify sensors in there. So I'll have a tinker around with that and do that between now and next week. But I'm very happy to tell you that yes, the code that Donnie has created, it works, it's there and I've got it now running in my home assistant. The next step, of course, that he actually goes through in the blog post is how you can then set it up to trigger things. So I'll have a tinker with that between now and next week as well. So stop watching this video, go and read the blog, and you'll be able to set it up in your home assistant as well. And I'll see you back here next week. So hit subscribe. See you then.